It's a beautiful day. I was worried it was going to be too hot, but in this shady spot, it's quite lovely. So go ahead and cross your legs, come into whatever seat is comfortable for you, and then do a little side to side, find your hip, your sit bones, and then start to circle your spine, making big circles, letting your spine feel fluid, adding in some shoulders. And then the next time you're in front, go ahead and switch the direction. And then come back to center. Let your spine get long. Reach the crown of your head up. Draw your belly button in. And then breathe in, filling up your lungs, feeling the air enter through your nose. And then exhale out through your mouth. Noticing the sounds around you. Feeling the air on your skin, letting go of anything that's been going on today, putting it off to the side. We'll come back to it later. Take a couple of deep centering breaths here. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. And now reach your arms out to the side. Inhale as you lift your arms up overhead. When your fingertips touch, exhale and let them float back down. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, float back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach your arms out into your T shape. Sorry, I tricked y'all. Simon says, look at your hands. <laughs> like you're coming, you're stopping traffic. And then reach with the palms of your hands away from you so that you start to feel a stretch through the bottom of your arm, maybe even a little bit into your side body. And now drop your fingers down to the ground, feeling that stretch on the tops of your arms. Flip your palms back up again, and then drop them back down. Let your left hand come down to the mat, reach your right arm up to the sky, breathe in, lengthen up, exhale, bend over to the left. Breathe here. And then flow through center, letting your left hand drop down, reach your, I'm sorry, let your right hand drop down, reach your left arm up and bend over to the right. Come back up to center, pretend you're holding a broomstick, draw your belly in, drop your shoulders and now twist to the left, keeping a hold of that broomstick. So you're really twisting from your torso. And then let your left hand come behind you and your right hand come onto your left knee and gently look over your back shoulder. Reach the left arm out to the side up overhead and over to the right, keeping your right hand on your left knee. And then lift back up, reach both arms out to either side. Pretend that you're holding that big long pole, breathe in, exhale, twist to the right. Breathe here. And now bring the right hand behind you, the left hand to your right knee. Inhale and lengthen, exhale, twist a little bit deeper.
reach the right hand out, reach the left hand out, reach up into a big V shape, gaze up at the sky, and then exhale, fold forward, walking your fingers out in front of you, let your head get heavy, and feel the stretch through your spine all the way down to your tailbone. And now gently walk your hands back up. Make your way into your tabletop position. Lining your knees up underneath your hips, your fingertips up underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide. Let your thumbs reach towards each other. And now extend the right leg back behind you. Dig your right toes into the mat and then rock yourself back and forth. Come to stillness, reach your left fingertips out in front, and then if available, lift and float your leg and your arm up off the mat. Gaze straight down, lifting your belly button up to your spine, and then exhale, draw your knee and elbow to meet. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, reach. Lower your left hand down. Keep your leg lifted so it's at hip height. Flex the foot. Feel the heel grow longer away from you. And now bend the leg, bringing your heel towards your bum. And extend. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. Lower the toes down. Bring the knee back. Open your knees to the width of your yoga mat. Sit yourself back into child's pose. Bring your forehead down. Walk your fingertips forward. Let your hips sit back. Nice, everyone. And now slowly come back up to tabletop. Get resituated. Reach your left leg back behind you. Rock back and forth over your left toes. And then float your left leg up to hip height. Reach your right arm out in front of you. Find your balance. And then draw the knee and elbow to meet and extend. Knee and elbow meet and extend, knee and elbow meet, and extend. Lower your right hand down, and now flex your left foot, feel the leg get long, feel the heel extend, and now bend and extend. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. Bring your knee back down behind you. Open your heat knees back up, Come back into child's pose. And this time, you're gonna walk your hands over towards the right. So your arms are gonna be over towards the right. And you're gonna gently press the ground away from you and let your left hip get a little bit heavier. So you wanna feel this side stretch. Take another breath here and now walk back through center and walk over to the left. And gently press the ground away from you. Feel your right hip get heavy. And then walk back to center. Come back up into your tabletop position. Breathe here, drop your belly, open your heart, big inhale, exhale round. Maybe today you tuck your toes as you open your heart forward, driving them into the mat. And then exhale, point your toes round your spine. Inhale, open your heart and exhale round. Tuck your toes, 
see if you can sit your heels, your hips back on your heels. So this might be too much, but give it a try. Maybe you can pull your little pinky toe out. See how much weight you can get back there. Interlace your fingers and then flip and press them away from you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sit back down again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down again. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Release the grip. Come back into your tabletop position. Curl your toes and peel your hips up nice and slow. Coming into your downward facing dog. Pedal your feet right and left. Nice. Now float your right leg up behind you. Reach the heel back. Lengthen your leg. And now step the right foot all the way up between your hands coming into your low lunge. Gaze out in front of you. Breathe here. Plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Reach your left heel back. Let your right heel get closer to the ground. And now step your left foot all the way up between your hands. Come up onto your fingertips in your low lunge. Gaze forward. Plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Float your right leg up. This time, bend your right knee and let your right foot hang over to the left side of your body. Now, re-extend the right leg back behind you. Draw the knee in. Slide the right foot up. Stay in your low lunge. Or if you want, come on up into your high lunge. Breathe here. One more breath. And then bring your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, open your hip. Let your right heel get heavy. Re-extend the left leg nice and long. Draw the left foot all the way forward. Step up between your hands. Stay in your low lunge or lift on up, coming into your high lunge. Breathe here. Bring your fingertips down. Step back to downward facing dog. And breathe. Float your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip. Re-extend your right leg. Draw the knee towards your nose. And then extend the right leg back up again. Draw the knee towards your nose. Extend the leg back up again. Last time, draw your knee in. Extend it up. This time, step your foot all the way forward, coming into a low lunge, or if you wish, lifting up into your high lunge. Nice. Breathe here. Bring your fingertips down. Step back to downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee. Open your hip. We extend the left leg, draw the left knee in towards your nose, extend it back out. Draw the left knee in, extend it back out. Draw the left knee in, extend it back out. 
This time, step the left foot all the way up between your hands. Low lunge or high lunge. Breathe here. Bring your fingertips down. Step back to downward facing dog. Take a break in down dog or come down into child's pose, letting your hips come back and breathe. If you're in child's pose, come back to downward facing dog. Actually, I lied. Everybody come into child's pose and then look up at me however is comfortable for you. So I took class on Sunday with one of my favorite teachers and she called out something that I kind of forgot. And so now I want to share it with all of you. And it's that most of us are not strong enough to actually do chaturanga, even though we all want to do it. So we're not going to do it tonight. So this is what we're going to do instead. So we're all going to come to our plank. We're going to lower all the way down. We're going to untuck our toes. We're going to lift into baby cobra and then into upward facing dog if you choose. Now notice upward facing dog means your knees and thighs are off the mat. Then we're all going to lower our knees, tuck our toes and come into downward facing dog. Because, and you can try this at home. I, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of blocks, but if you have a block at home, the exercise to try to see if you can do it is to place the block here, put it under your stomach, place your hands in your chaturanga, and then can you lift up without your arms? Can you, I mean, your arms are there, obviously. <laughs> but are you pulling your stomach up off the block and then lifting up. So most of us just like power through and push up. And that's how we hurt our rotator cuffs. Probably how I hurt mine the other year. So if you're on the block and you're here, can you lift your belly up and then come up into your plank? So just a little. So now none of us are gonna do it. Now I know to do it wrong but she did that in class on Sunday and I was like I am stealing that I said we don't all have blocks but we're all going to go all the way down to the mat baby cobra if you want to do upward dog you can go into it from there and then we'll meet in downward dog so everybody come into your downward facing dog we're going to pull forward first one we're all going to drop our knees your belly, lower down nice and slow. Untuck your toes, press your feet into the mat, lift just your heart and chest. If you want to go higher, come into your upward facing dog and then lift into your downward facing dog. All right, we'll step it up, but this is as far up as we're stepping it. Come into your plank. Lower all the way down to the ground. Untuck your toes. Baby cobra. Or upward facing dog. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Either coming through tabletop or straight into your down dog. All right. Look forward to your hands and slowly walk those feet all the way up to your hands. Hang heavy, reach for opposite elbows, feet hip distance apart. My mosquito band is no longer working. Gently rock side to side. And then slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders coming up last. Roll your shoulders back, one, two, three, and then forward, one, two, and three. Nice, stand still, 
Feel your breath, feel your weight get heavy between your two feet. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back, come into low lunge. Come back up onto those fingertips. Breathe here, lower your right knee down, untuck the toes, reach on up, coming into your 90-90. Open into T like we did in seated, hold on to that bar and then twist towards your front leg, towards the A building. You have, your, you have the wrong leg forward, there we go. Nice, come back to center, bring your hands down, step your left leg back into plank. Hold your plank, either drop your knees or lower all the way down onto your stomach. Untuck your toes, lift your belly button to your spine, then come into your baby cobra, maybe into your upward facing dog. Exhale into your downward facing dog and breathe. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Low lunge. Step your left foot up to meet it. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Palms touch, reach up to the sky. And then exhale, fold back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left leg back this time in your low lunge. Come up on your fingertips, pull your left heel back. Lower your left knee down, reach your arms up 90-90. Open your arms and hold on to that imaginary broomstick. And now twist to the right. Breathe here. Come back to center. Bring your hand down by your front foot. Step back to plank. Either keep your knees lifted or lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Lift your belly button away from the ground. Lift up into baby cobra all the way into upward facing dog. Exhale back into downward facing dog. And breathe. Put the left leg up, step the left foot forward, step the right foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms touch. Exhale your arms down by your side. Beautiful, everyone. All right, feel that breeze, it feels so lovely. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back. Lower your right knee down, untuck your toes, reach your arms up. Open your arms into your T. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Bring your right hand down, reach your left arm up. Bring your left hand down, step back to plank. Lower yourself all the way down to your mat. Lift your bone up to your spine, lift your chest. Maybe come all the way up to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Put the right leg up behind you. Step the right foot forward. Step the left foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And then exhale, right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back, low lunge. Lower your left knee down, reach your arms up. Open into a T. Twist to the right. 
Lower your left hand down, right arm up. Bring your right hand down, step back to plank. Lower all the way down. Then tuck your toes, baby cobra. Upward facing dog, tabletop, downward facing dog. And breathe. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot forward. Step your right foot up to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, your arms down by your side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back. Lower your right knee down, reach your arms up. Open into a T. Twist to the right. I lied, twist to the left. Like that doesn't feel right. Bring your right hand down, reach your left arm up. If you want, curl your right toes and let your right knee come up off the mat. Breathe here. If you can, gaze up at your left fingertips. Bring your left hand down by your foot. Step back into plank. Lift your belly button up to your spine, then lower down. Untuck your toes, baby cobra. Maybe all the way up into upward facing dog. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Breathe here. With the right leg up behind you, step the right foot all the way forward. Step the left foot to meet it. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, all the way up, fingertips touch. And then exhale, right back down again. Inhale, lengthen your spine, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back, low lunge. Lower your left knee down, reach your arms up. Open your arms into a T, twist to the right. Bring your left hand down, right arm up to the sky. Maybe you lift your left knee up off the ground. See if you can twist a little bit deeper, driving down through your right foot. And then bring your right hand by your right foot. Step back to plank. Lower down nice and slow. Untuck the toes. Baby cobra. Forward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. Lift your left leg up, step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold forward, inhale, come all the way up to stand, and exhale your arms down by your side. Go ahead and find your center on your mat, let your arms come down by your side, Take a moment to check in, you're okay. And now we're gonna shift our weight into our right leg. We're gonna peel our left heel up. We're gonna lift our left leg up in front of us, keeping our knee bent. If you feel better with your arms on your hips or out to the side or cactus, whatever works for you or makes you feel better, go ahead and do that. Keeping your tailbone long, Open your leg out to the left. Finding your balance. From here, can you bring the sole of your foot to your calf or your ankle, or maybe reach down and help it up above the knee? Think about your left knee pulling back, opening through your hips. And now if available, bring your arms up to the sky. Bring your hands to heart center, 
And we're gonna slide our left foot onto our left knee, our right knee, and come into a standing figure four, if that's available. If it's not available, don't worry about it. Sit your hips back, hold on to anything you need to. And then release both feet down to the ground. Open your stance. Go ahead and rock gently side to side. And then come back to center, finding our even standing. Shift your weight into your left leg, lift the right knee up in front of you. Breathe here. Open the right knee out to the right. Stand tall, drive energy down through your leg. And now bring the sole of the right foot to your left calf or ankle or maybe even it's available above your knee. Lift up nice and tall. Reach your arms out and up. Bring your hands to heart center. Slide your ankle on top of your knee and sit your hips back. You have the best t-shirts. Your t-shirt, very cute. And now place both feet down, come back to two feet and gently shake side to side. Oh, I've gotten so many bug bites. Be, I'm so you. sweet. I'm so sweet. I've never been bitten here. I've I had this little thing the past few weeks, and it must be where it must have worn out. So you're like, thank you, thank you. All right. So we're gonna come to the top of our mat. We are going to build a lovely little throat. Flow. We're going to go through it three times. We're going to do it so slick that the mosquitoes aren't even going to see me. All right. If you need a sip of water, now is a good time to grab that. I know we're outside. Things are a little different than normal. And then come to the top of your mat with your feet hip distance apart. Let your fingertips hang down by your side. Roll your shoulders back. Feel your collarbones spread apart from each other. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to plank. Hold here in your plank. You're gonna lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, baby cobra. Maybe into upward facing dog. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Breathing here. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. You're in a low lunge. Turn your left heel down. Reach your arms out and up, coming into warrior one. Exhale, hinge forward. And then inhale back up to warrior one. Exhale, hinge forward. And then back up to warrior one. One more time. And back up. Open into warrior two, facing the A tower. Bend your front knee a little bit deeper. Reach your fingertips away from each other. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Other way, may, other way, there you go. Breathe here. Come back to warrior two. Rotate into high lunge, so you're lifting your left heel. Gaze up and then float your fingertips all the way down. Step back to plank, lower down to the mat. Untuck your toes, baby cobra or upward facing dog. 
exhale into downward facing dog and breathe. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way up between your hands, coming up into your low lunge. Drop your right heel down, press into the outer edge of your right foot, reach your arms out and up, warrior one. Really press into the out, yeah, there you go. Exhale, hinge and bow forward, inhale up. Exhale forward, inhale up. One more time, bow forward and lift up. Open into warrior two. Bend your front knee a little bit deeper. Reach your fingertips away from each other. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Breathe here. Come back to warrior two. Rotate into high lunge, facing the front of your mat. Bring your hands all the way down. Step back to plank. Lower all the way down to the mat. Baby cobra, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And breathe. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Drop your left heel down. Reach your arms out and up, warrior one. Back forward. Lift back up. Bow forward. So straighten your back leg. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. Last time. And up. Open into warrior two. Adjust your feet if you need to. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle, right forearm on right leg, left fingertips reach overhead. Drop your right hip a little bit lower. Come back up to warrior two. Turn your right palm up, go back to Peaceful Warrior. Come back to Warrior Two. Rotate into your high lunge. You're gonna shift your weight forward and come to stand on your right leg, bending at the hip with your left foot behind you. You can bring your arms out to the side if you feel better with your balance there. And then see if you can lift your left leg up, coming into warrior three. Feel free to keep your left toe on the ground. And now everybody bring your left toe back. Come back into high lunge. Open into warrior two. Car wheel your hands down. Step back to plank. Lower all the way down. Baby cobra, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And breathe. Nice. Put your left leg up behind you. Step your left foot all the way forward. Drop your right heel down, reach your arms out and up, warrior one. So your hips are moving towards the front of your mat and then you exhale, bow forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale up. Last time, bow forward. Inhale up, open into warrior two. Sit a little bit lower, adjust your feet if necessary. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come through warrior two, bend your left arm, place it on your left thigh, reach your right arm up and over. 
Come back to warrior two. Peaceful warrior. And back to warrior two. Come into your high lunge towards the front of your mat. Shift your weight slowly into your left leg, keeping your right toe behind you on the ground. Keeping your arms out in front or bring them out into a T. Lift your right leg up off the ground. Coming into a version of warrior three. Your right knee should be pointing down to the ground. Your hips should be square if that's possible. You can always bring your hands down to the floor. And now step back into your high lunge. Open back into your warrior two. Car wheel your arms down. Step back to plank. Lower all the way down. Untuck your toes. Baby cobra. Upward facing dog. Driving that belly button towards your spine. Into downward facing dog. And breathe. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward, low lunge. Drop your left heel down. Reach your arms up, warrior one. Hinge forward. Lift back up. Hinge forward. Lift back up. Last time, hinge forward. Lift back up. Open into warrior two. Take a breath. Turn your right palm up. Exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through to side angle. Come back to peaceful warrior. Straighten the right leg, peaceful triangle. Think about lifting your thighs up and then reach towards me, bringing your right hand down to your right thigh. Lift your left arm up, engage your inner thigh, squeeze your butt and think about twisting your whole torso. One more breath here and then come back to warrior two. Turn into your high lunge at the front of your mat. You can either take the shift forward and draw your left leg around the ground, or if you think you're ready, float straight into your warrior three. Breathe here. Balancing on one leg is hard. Feel free to keep your left toe on the ground. Everybody step back to high lunge. Open back into warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down. Step back to plank. Then go through your version of your vinyasa. Actually, I lied. Don't see that's just habit. Go all the way down. Baby cobra, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. All right, last leg, last side. We got this. Flip the left leg up. Step the left leg between your hands. Drop your right heel down. Reach on up, warrior one. Bow forward, let your arms sweep back. Think about your left knee being over your left ankle. Think about pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Lift back up. Last one. And reach up. Open into warrior two. Nice. Beautiful, everyone. Turn your left palm up. Exhale back, peaceful warrior. Breathe here. Come back to warrior two. Bend your left arm. Place it on your left thigh. Reach your right arm up. And towards the front. Nice. Drop that hip a little bit more. Come back to warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Left arm back. Drain your front leg. Peaceful triangle. 
Think about lifting up through your inner thighs, engaging through your pelvic muscles. And now reach your left arm towards me, bringing your left hand down to your shin or your ankle and reaching your right arm up to the sky. Breathe here. One more breath and then lift back on up to warrior two. Turn your left palm up, peaceful warrior. Back to warrior two, coming into high lunge towards the front of your mat. Shift straight into warrior three or keep that right toe on the ground. Drop your right hip. Your right knee should be pointing to the ground. You can always reach for your water bottle or the floor or something to give you a little extra balance. One more breath. And now step back into your high lunge. Open back into your warrior two. Cartwheel your arms down. Step back to plank. Lower all the way down. Baby cobra, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. And breathe. Put your right leg up behind you. We're gonna come into pigeon. If you don't like pigeon this way, come into it on your back in figure four. So draw your right knee towards your right wrist. Extend your left leg back behind you. And then slowly come down onto your forearms. Stack your feet, I mean, stack your hands. Some place to rest your head. And now think about your left leg getting long behind you. Make sure the top of your left foot is pressing into the mat and that it's not making a weird banana shape. Let your head get heavy, release the tension between your jaw. Feel the breeze. And then start to slowly come up, pressing the ground away from you. Come back into tabletop or downward facing dog, whichever feels better. Pedal it out, bending your knees right and left, left and right. Put the left leg up behind you and now draw the left knee to the left elbow. Reach the right leg back. Come down onto your forearms. Make any adjustments you need to make. And then make sure that your right leg is straight, that it's not bending or banana shaping. And then come all the way down, resting your head on your hands or the mat, or if you have a pillow or a sweatshirt or something. And feel the breeze on your body. Release the tension in your jaw. Now start to come back up slowly. Make your way back into your downward facing dog. Stay there. And then lower your knees down and come into a seated position with your legs straight out in front of you. Just seemed easier. <laughs> All right. So, so you want your feet to be about hip distance apart so you have a little bit of space between them. Dig your heels into the ground. Let your toes point up to the ceiling. 
And now see if you can sit up tall like we did in the beginning of the class. It's more difficult because you don't have your feet underneath you. You have them out in front of you. See if you can get your shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms out to the side. Bring them up overhead. Lengthen your spine and then hinge forward at your hips. Drive your heels into the ground as you reach your fingertips up and over. And now exhale, round your spine, letting your arms come, your hands come all the way down to the ground, wherever they land. And now roll back up to seated. Take your left leg, lift your left knee up, left foot on the ground. Hook your right elbow on your left knee and bring your left hand behind you, looking over your left shoulder. Come back to the front. Lift your left leg and cross it over the right. So this might be enough for you, but maybe you feel like you can bend this bottom leg. Make sure both sit bones are still there. And now hook the right arm and twist back. You'll find that you can go a little bit deeper now. We're gonna come out of this and we're gonna go the opposite way. So we're gonna take our left elbow to the inside of our left knee and we're gonna twist and look over our right shoulder. Pay attention to where your sit bones are. You want them to both still be on the mat. And then come back to the front. Lean back onto your fingertips behind you. Bring both legs out in front. Windshield wiper them side to side. And then extend the legs back out in front of you. Flex your toes up to the ceiling. Reach your arms out to the side. Up overhead. Lengthen up. Exhale, hinge forward. And then round down into a deep forward fold. Slowly roll up. Slide the right foot onto the ground. Bring the left arm around the right knee and the right arm behind you and gently twist back. Come back to the center. Lift the right foot up, bring it over the left. You can keep your left leg straight or bend it. And make sure that both sit bones are on the ground. And now reach the right arm up, left arm up. Bring it to the outside. And look over your right shoulder. And then release back to center. Uncross your legs. Let them wobble side to side. And now plant both feet on the ground. Reach your arms out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. And now exhale and lower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, you are all the way down on your back. Slide your feet up underneath you. We'll do one bridge pose. So plant your hands down on the mat, heels under your knees, toes pointing away from you, and then press down and roll up one vertebra at a time, lifting your hips up to the air. 
Interlace your fingers behind your back. Shimmy your shoulders together to deepen that back bend. Breathe here. Think about your shins moving towards the front of the space. Driving down through your heel, your big toe, and your pinky toe. Two more breaths. And now release your arms and slowly roll down. One vertebra at a time. Let your knees knock together and your feet come to the outer edges of your mat. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Good, slowly breathe. Draw your knees into your armpits and gently rock side to side. If you would like to take a happy baby, you can do so by bringing your feet up to the sky and reaching for the outer edges of your feet. Or if there's some other pose that you would like to do, now is the time to do that. Taking advantage of our space. If you need another twist or another back bend, whatever you feel you need. And then slowly come out of it, coming onto your back, bringing your arms down by your side. Straightening out your leg. Feeling the weight of your body sink into the mat, into the earth. I'm going to come around with some lavender oil for a Shavasana adjustment. If you would prefer that I do not place my hands on you, place one hand on your stomach and I will know to respect your space. All right. Let your body get heavy. Let go of the journey. Draw all the energy into your belly button. Draw it into your center. Think of it all coming up through your fingers and your toes, drawing it in, in, in. Hold it in here. And then exhale. Let that energy slowly roll down your arms, down your legs to your toes. One more time, think about drawing that energy up from your toes and your fingertips. Feel it traveling along your limbs, moving to that center point of your body, squeezing it all in there. And then exhale, let it relax and flow away from you. Move into your stillness, into your deep relaxation.
Good to deepen your breath. Feeling the air move in and out of your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Let your head rock gently side to side. And then reach your arms up overhead, taking a big, long stretch from your fingertips to your toes. And when you're ready, roll on to one side, any side, curling yourself up into the fetal position. Taking some time to feel your blood shift from your back to your side. And then when you're ready, press yourself back up into a comfortable seat. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Feel your lungs. Open and close, feel your rib cage rise and fall, feel your heartbeat. This is the energy of your body, your life force moving around inside of you. Acknowledge it, thank it, thank yourself for taking this time to do something just for you. And I thank you all for letting me lead you.